Okay, so welcome back to part three, which is the third and final part of this editing series. And in front of you on the screen, you can see Photoshop as it was when we finished off in part two. Now, the next stage as we rattle through is that we want to increase the blues in the sky. So what I'm going to do to use, sorry, to do, to do that is use a adjustment layer, and that's a hue and saturation adjustment layer. When we click on the hue and saturation adjustment layer, we bring up this little dialog box here, and it says master with these two up and down arrows. I'm going to select the blues, and then next to there we can see this little icon with a finger and the arrows going left and right. That's the target selection tool, and if I click on that and then zoom out and put my cursor anywhere in the sky where there's blue, hold down and drag to the right, that will increase the saturation of the blues in the sky, as we can see there. And obviously if I go far to the right, that increases it just a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring it down to around about the 65% mark. And we can see what we're doing by over the right hand side here. We can see the saturation going left. We can see the sky on the left going down. Bring it up. We can see it's increased. And we're going to go into around about the 65% mark. Whoops, 65, something like, uh, like that. Okay, zooming out. So now, the sky has been saturated, the blues are a little bit more prominent, but also the jeans that the guys are wearing has also been increased. So whenever we add an adjustment layer, we notice that we have a white layer mask. So if I want to reveal the colours beneath that, i.e. the colour that was in the original picture, I'm going to paint with a black brush on that layer mask. So by pressing B on my keyboard, I get the brush. I come up to the right hand side and make sure that my foreground colour is set to black as it is in this case. And then all I'll do is just paint over the guy's jeans at 100% to bring them back to how they were before we increase the blues in the sky. So that's that stage there. Now to keep things nice and simple, the next thing we're going to do is flatten the image. And the next stage is I want to desaturate the colours in this picture just a little bit. Now there are a number of ways we could do that. We could come to the top of the screen and press image. Uh, adjustments and then use desaturate but what I like to do is convert the image to black and white first and then control how much of that black and white shows through. Now again we could use black and white conversions in Photoshop but one thing I've done a lot more nowadays is using a filter called by a company called Nick and it's a Nick Silver Effects Pro and we go to that by choosing filter Nick software and Nick Silver Effects Pro and it brings up this dial box, dialog box here Straight away we get a default black and white conversion which is in itself is quite good but on the left hand side we have all these different variations of black and white and toned uh, conversions as well. Now for this image I want to use a conversion called high structure. So we'll click OK and when we do that it will process it and bring it back so now straight away our image is turned black and white. And if we come up to the layers panel we'll see that this black and white conversion is on its own layer. We can turn it on and off by clicking the little icon there. So to desaturate the colours, all I need to do then is use the opacity slider to reduce the amount of black and white that shows through. So I'm going to take this one down to around about, say, 30% is about right for this picture. And I'll zoom out. And by turning that black and white layer on and off now, we can see that here's the image's full colour. And here it is with slightly desaturated. So in effect, 30% of the black and white is showing over the top of the original coloured image. And it gives that desaturated look we can see there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, to keep things simple yet again, is flatten the image. And then with this background layer, we're going to drag it to the new layer icon so we get a copy. And I want to add a little bit of a vignette to this picture, but only in the bottom left and right hand corners. And to do that, I've got a number of options, a number of options available to me, but I'm going to use the burn tool. So we can press O on our keyboard or come over to our tools panel or tools bar on the, right, on the left hand side and choose the burn tool here. And I think like we said before in previous tutorials, when we select the burn tool or the dodge tool, we get the options at the top here where we can choose the uh, shadows, the midtones, and the highlights and what power really or the exposure we want to use. Now I'm going to use the midtones, set to 25% fine, making sure that we have protect tones ticked as well. And then all I'm going to do is just using my left and right bracket keys, increase or decrease the size of the uh, burn brush, the brush that we're actually using, and just darken down this bottom left hand corner here and the bottom right hand corner there. So just quickly paint over there just so it adds a little bit more uh, drama, draw, draws the eyes more into where the guys are sitting. We can turn that layer on and off 
like so. Now if that's too dark all we need to do because it's on its own layer we can use the opacity slider to increase it or decrease it to however we feel it's, uh, it's suited and I'll probably just keep it nice and simple around about the 85% mark. So there we go that's the vignette on and the vignette off. Okay the final stage just a little bit of sharpening so we'll flatten the image again and we'll drag that background layer to the new layer icon so we get the background copy and to sharpen it what I want to do to add a little bit more punch to it is use the high pass filter so we're going to go to the top of the screen choose filter other and high pass and we're going to use a radius of around about two pixels just so we can see the image coming through the gray here that's about that's about right actually yeah we'll keep it at two something like so 2.1 yeah who's, who's, who's fussy and click OK once that's done that we'll come up to the layers panel change the blend mode of that to soft light to then reveal the picture below and we can turn that on and off and you can see hopefully you'll see it on your screen it just adds a nice bit of sharpening a bit more of a, a kick to the picture so there we go that's the final image so three uh, editing sessions we've gone from literally a picture where we've ended up like this and we started off like that so in three episodes we've managed to get rid of all this junk we've increased uh, the detail in the car, we've increased the blues in the skies, a bit more detail, added a vignette and given it a bit of a sharpening. So there you go. Three editing series, nice and quick. There you go. What more can I say? I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.